Hi, and welcome back to the show. I'm with Bobby Saval from Ultimate Tax and Advisory talking about the mistakes business owners make during the year. I'm holding my hand up. Yes, made a, <laughs> <laughs> <Me too. laughs> made a few. But when we're honest and we can do a bit of review, we can just make the next year a little bit more comfortable and a bit better, can't we? That's exactly right. If you don't yeah. reflect and review, how do you know you're going to, how, how will you know to better yourself? Effectively. It's an old line, isn't it? I think it goes somewhere. If you if you do the same things you did last year and expect a different result, mm -hmm. that's insanity. Insanity. <laughs> Who said that? Albert Einstein. Yeah. yeah that's right. So you kind of got to go. Well, let's review. Let's see, and let's do something a little bit different. You'll get a different result. Now, I know when you talk to business owners, they go, "Look, I, I just need more customers. I, I need to make more profit." And really, the, the underlining, the underpinning of those two is, is cash flow, yes. isn't it? Even though we use the language of more customers, more profits, really what we're talking about is this cash flow issue that's bothering us. Exactly right. Growing your business can be easy. Uh, you do a lower price point, you can market to the masses, not focusing mm. on your core target market, all these things, and you can grow your business. Yeah. Um, however, that doesn't order, always generate to a profit. Yes. Which I've seen multiple times uh, with, with current business clients and, and previous clients that I've dealt with in the past. Mm. It's cash flow which really is the imperative uh, factor of it all. In cash flow in, cash flow out, a lot of times the pricing point that you've got for your products or services mm. isn't quite there. That's, and, uh, that's where you really need to look at, okay, uh, that's your price point what you're gonna have, Mm. What's the gross profit percentage? I know we're talking some technical numbers here, but what's mm. your gross profit percentage, which will give you a r rough reflective of your total net profit? Yeah. Um, uh, if you don't have that gross profit margin correct, mm. or your non, I guess, trading expenses, it's just your general yeah. get out of bed costs, yeah. they're, they're not going to be picked up. It was interesting. I was doing a, uh, I mean, a chat to a couple of people, and they run businesses from home. And I said to the first person, one identified, but I said, oh, and I said, you know, what's your cost of running the business? Oh, nothing, because I work from home. <laughs> and I'm like, right. I didn't think it was free, <laughs> but anyway. And I said to the other person, I said, uh, the other gentleman, I said, oh, what, what do you believe your costs are? He said, I've worked them out there $43,500 a year. And the first person was looking, but hold on, you work from yeah. home like me, there's no costs. He's going, no, 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 I've still got electricity, I've still got gas, he's still, I've still got a car, rents, yes. you know, lease to pay, I've still got petrol, I still run a mobile phone, I've got faxes, I've got computers, I've got software. And I'm going, here's someone who's actually done the realistic numbers. Yes. And he was making a profit, and the first person who said no costs was struggling. Yes. Do you find a lot of business owners sometimes oh, that's not really a cost and kind of hide it and it doesn't, and so not reflecting Definitely. truth. Definitely. Um, what I like to do with people who have home, home business is, mm. okay, what's your rough square meterage of space that you're going? Okay, that's great. In that area, what would you be able to get as a, as a rental? What would you be able mm. to lease that a premises for? And yes. that's something that I utilize them to, okay, it's not an actual cost, but mm. if you base your, your basic expenses around that plus this plus your electricity and you hit them all on the head all the other expenses which you you may go oh well oh electricity oh, i'm using it for home anyway or oh i don't really i'm um, toilet paper for example you like, yeah. oh you know well if you were in an office you'd be buying this for your yeah. customers and your cleaning and products all, yeah, and yeah. all that type of stuff so all yeah. those bits and pieces you need to factor in and that's where we like to look at what's your get out of bed cost yeah which is where the cash flow aspect comes into it because yeah. if you don't know what you'll get out of bed costs every day or every week or every month, then how do you know what you need to make every day, every week or every month to make a profit and, and put food on the table effectively? Yeah. It's like with us, you know, a lot of people say, well, you run a media, you've already got your cameras, you've already got your lights, you've already got all your sound equipment, you, you're done. Well, they wear out. So we actually got to know how long they last for. And, uh, and then if they run, if they're only going to last their set of lights is going to, because we burn them every day. So, so they're going to burn out in 12 months. We said, look, and new ones come on the market. So of course I'm big boys toys. We've got to have new stuff. <laughs> but unless you factor that in and divide it back and say, here's my daily running cost of running this thing. And then you're saying, well, if in a week, what's my rent that I've got to pay? What's all my outgoings? Yes. And you add all that up and then suddenly you can work it back to, we work it back to a weekly and we go, this is how many clients we need to see per week just 
to pay costs. That's right. Before even I take any money and the wife takes most of the money. Of <laughs> <laughs> but people just don't work that way. But when it comes to cash flow, you're suddenly, real, you're suddenly going, I, I remember a long time ago, I went to my account and he told me how much money I'd made. And I went, I can't have, there's no money in my account. <laughs> Everyone tells me, I can't tell you, Michael, how many times I've heard that conversation. Yeah. And then when you look back at it, well, oh, geez, I've, uh, most of the thing is, is uh, your own personal wages or drawings. Yeah. And they don't realise how much they're taking out. And, and that's why we're big advocates of going, okay, what are your three monthly costs? If you've got no customers in three months, you should have that in a separate business savings account as an ultimate backup. Great. And, that, that is really great it's, advice. It's, it seems excessive, yes. but you've always got that there for, for that rainy day period. So for example, this Christmas New Year period, for us, we're, not, we're, we're shutting up, uh, shutting mm. our, um, our services over, over for a week or so. Um, yeah. People will still be on holidays, probably coming from now to mid to even end of January. So there's a lot of yeah. people which may not be coming through our doors. So that's already a month, a month and a half. Yeah. So we've already got that savings set in place to factor for these rainy days or yeah. rainy months effectively. So with your clients, obviously you have little checklists for them and stuff. So someone watching could perhaps yeah. give you a call and say, help me out. And maybe, do you have like a, a quick checklist? You say, right, here's some of the things you can just tick off and just check next. And look, if you don't know the answers, and hey, I was one of them. <laughs> you know, I got asked a heap of questions, went, I don't know that, but that's great. Because when you do know it, all of a sudden your business for some reason starts to just expand exponentially. Exactly right. So yeah, we do actually have checklists of mm. almost like, uh, we, we call it our ultimate business startup guide. So this is a ah. checklist of, of all the things you need to tick the boxes before you start up a business. Then we've got one, the ultimate growth checklist. So to continue that you have going along to yeah. tick the boxes every month, um, as you grow the business, as, you, as you're continuing along, just to go, okay, yes, these things you may know like the back of your hand, but from time to time, you'll forget those. I'm a big believer in having it written down. How does, before I forget this one though, how do people get hold of them? You can contact us on 61443370 and we can get your email address and, and send it off to you. Or you can email us office at ultimate-tax.com.au. Probably a great time of year. Anytime you're going to review, that's probably a couple of great checklists. And then if you get stuck with officers, they can come in and have a chat with you because I know you love to have those coffees. Those, of course. And uh, become a client. You'll see the difference. <laughs> a quick plug there, but you do see <laughs> the you. difference here. But that cash flow and that understanding. So when I go, the accountant says, well, you made all this money. I go, I have no money. <laughs> I can't pay the tax bill. <laughs> That's a common trait. Yes, it is. Yeah. And what we like to do is be very proactive in this approach mm. and go and look at where your, how the cash is actually going into the bank account, comparing mm. that with your sales and expenses and, and sort of allocate where your major expenses are. Yeah, fantastic. We're going to get those couple of checklists on our side as well. So anyone that rings us, we can flick you through with the direct uh, links to Bobby and Crystal. One thing I will say that I think, and I know I'm conscious of your time, I think what helps people that work with you is because you also do the bookkeeping, one of us is very familiar with bookkeepers now, separate to the accountancy mm -hmm. part of it, it just keeps those daily, weekly, you've got your finger right on the pulse, so yes. you can feel all like the pulse of your business and you can see whether, you know, like a going for a health check basically. Exactly, it's a, the, your fini financial health check. Yeah. Um, all of our team are qualified accountants, so including the bookkeepers, so they're not just looking at, at a bookkeeper scenario, they're looking at it as a, a, with the accountant's hat on as well, yeah. and business analysis effectively, so, so seeing, see where we can strategize your, your numbers to make them work better for you. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. We'll take a quick break and we'll come back with more from Bobby and Ultimate Tax and Advisory. Mm -hmm.